स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू विद्या मिराज दिस वीडियो इज मेड फॉर क्लास एट और चैप्टर नंबर इलेवन मैंसुरेशन एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू एक्सरसाइज इलेवन पॉइंट वन फ्रॉम एन सी आर टी क्वेश्चन नंबर वन अ स्क्वेर एंड अ रेक्टेंगुलर फील्ड विद मेजरमेंट एज गिवन इन दिगर हैव द सेम पेरीमीटर विच फील्ड हैज अ लार्जर एरिया नो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू नो द फॉर्मूला of perimeter of a square perimeter of a rectangle area of a square and area of a rectangle now for finding out this information finding out the answer we are given the measurements we have a square with us as 60 meters and we have a rectangle whose length is given to us as 80 meters now we are told that perimeter of a square and perimeter of rectangle they both are equal so we have square with us we know the formula 4 multiply by side so 4 multiply by 60 comes out to be 240 meters as a perimeter of a square for finding out perimeter of rectangle it is 2 into length plus breadth but we have only length with us we do not have breadth so how we are going to find out breadth with the help of the perimeter of square which means we are told already that perimeter of rectangle will be equal to the perimeter of square so we will write down 2 into length plus breadth is equal to 240 so what is 240 240 we have just found the perimeter of square put length as 80 and let b uh, breadth b as b only so 80 plus b comes out to be 120 and breadth comes out to be 40 meters now we have found out the breadth of the rectangle now the question is we need to find out whose area is larger so let us find out the area of square area of square is side into side that is 60 into 60 which means 3600 meter square area of rectangle formula is length into breadth so 80 multiplied by 40 gives you 3200 meter square now whose area is more square area is more that is 3600 and rectangle area is less question number 2 mrs koshik has a square plot with the measurement as shown in the figure she wants to construct a house in the middle of the plot a garden is developed around the house find the total cost of developing a garden around the house at a rate of rupees 55 per meter square now if you look at the figure we have a square plot and inside that square plot there is a house we need to find out the area of the garden how we will find out the area of garden first find out area of the square plot that is the outside area the bigger plot that is given to us as 25 meters so area of a square plot is side into side which is 25 into 25 which means 625 meters square now we are also given the measurements of a house we have length with us we have breadth that means house is in a form of a rectangle so area of a house is length into breadth which is 20 into 15 that gives us as 300 meter square so now we have a square plot area we have a house area if we subtract both of them we will get the left over part which is the area of the garden so area of the garden is total area of the plot that is the outside big plot minus the area of the house you will get remaining as the area of the garden which comes out to be 625 minus 300 gives you 325 meter square now this is the area of the garden now they are also telling us to find out the cost of developing the garden the rate given to us is rupees 55 per meter square which means for 1 meter square the rate is rupees 55 so if it is 325 meter square then it will be 325 multiply by 55 that gives you rupees 17875 question number 3 The shape of a garden is rectangular in the middle and semicircular at the ends as shown in the diagram. Find the area and the perimeter of this garden. Now length of a rectangle is 20 minus 3.5 plus 3.5 meters. Now here if you look at the shape if you see there are two shapes in it. There is one rectangle in the center or and 
there is a semicircle at the ends now total length is given to us as 20 meters but if I want to find out the length of a rectangle, you need to subtract the lengths of the semicircle parts, which is 3.5. So, 3.5 on my right and 3.5 on my left, I need to subtract that 7 from my 20 to get the length of the rectangle. So, my length of rectangle is 13 meters. Breadth will be 7 meters, which is as it is. So, area of a rectangle is length into breadth. It becomes 13 into 7 that is 91 meters square. Secondly, we also need to find out the area of the semicircle. These are the semicircles which are on my right and are on my left. Now the hint over here is if I join two semicircles, it will become one circle. And I want to know the area of the circle that is pi r square. So I can write it directly or I will put the formula of a semicircle. How, what is the area of a semicircle? It is half into pi r square because semicircle is half of a circle. So, half pi r square is the area of a semicircle. And how many semicircles are there? There are two semicircles. So, I need to multiply with two. So, there is two in the numerator, two in the denominator. I can cancel these two and I will get as pi r square. So, any of the method you can follow it. Now, pi is 22 by 7. Now, radius over here will be 7 upon 2. Why? Because if you see 7 is the diameter of the semicircle, total length. But we need the radius. So, radius is divided by 2. 7 is the diameter. 7 is to be divided by 2. So, it becomes 38.5 meters square. That is the area of the semicircles. So, what is the total area now? Area of a rectangle plus the area of the two semicircles. Total if I do 91 meter square plus 38.5 meter square gives me 129.5 meters square. This is my total area. I also need to find out the perimeter. Now, let us see the perimeter. How to find out perimeter? Perimeter is the outer boundary. So, if I look at my rectangle. My rectangle length is 13 only because total is 20. I sub have subtracted 7 from that. So, it becomes 13. 13 on my down and 13 on my top. Now, there is right and left semicircles. For that, I need to find out the circumference of a semicircle or circumference of the circle. Since there are two semicircles, if I join them together, it becomes one circle. I can write it as 2 pi r which is the formula for a circumference of a circle. Perimeter is also called the circumference. So, 2 into 22 by 7 into radius is 3.5 plus 26. 22 plus 26 total perimeter of this figure is 48 meters. Question number 4. A flooring tile has a shape of a parallelogram whose base is 24 centimeters and corresponding height is 10 centimeters. How many such tiles are required to cover a floor of area 1080 meters square? Now, there are two things. We are given the size of a tile. We are given the area of the floor. So, let us find the area of tile first. Now, tile is in a shape of a parallelogram. So, area of a parallelogram is base into height. Now, we are given as 24 into 10. Now, why I have written over here as 1 into 24 into 10? Because we are finding the area for one tile at present. So, that gives me 240 centimeters square. Secondly, I am even told the area of the floor. Area of floor is 1080 meters square. Now, here remember your tile is in centimeters your floor area is given is meters. They should be in same units. Either both should be meters or both should be centimeters. So, it is easy to convert from meter to centimeters because for that I can add zeros in that. I already know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. But if I want to find out 1 meter square, it will be 10,000 centimeters square. Which means 
in order to convert 1080 meter square into centimeters i need to multiply with 10000 so it comes to 1080000 five zeros are there now the question is we need to find out number of tiles how will we find out number of tiles total area of the floor by dividing it with area of tile we will get number of tiles so area of the floor is 108 and 5 zeros divided by 240 both are in centimeter square when you reduce it you will get 45000 tiles question number 5 an ant is moving around a few food pieces of different shapes scattered on the floor for which food pieces would the ant have to take a longer round remember the circumference of a circle can be obtained by using the expression 2 pi r where r is the radius of the circle now in order to find out the perimeter or total area of the following figure first of all we need to convert diameters into the radius now since it is in a form of a semicircle now ant is moving in a shape of a semicircle for that if i want to find out its total perimeter or total distance i need to find out the circumference of the semicircle plus i need to add the diameter that straight line which is 2.8 now let us find out the circumference of semicircle that is pi r for a circle it is 2 pi r so for semicircle it is half of 2 pi r which is pi r now pi is 22 by 7 radius will be 1.4 because diameter is 2.8 i will divide it by 2 and i will get 1.4 so answer comes to 4.4 that will be the circumference of the semicircle that is only the curved part but i need to find out the total figure uh, area so what is it the total distance will be circumference plus the diameter which is 4.4 plus 2.8 that gives to 7.2 centimeters let us see the now b figure now here again there is a semicircle but we have some more area also to be covered by it so what is it let us see the diameter again it is 2.8 so radius is 1.4 circumference of semicircle will be pi r which comes out to be 4.4 centimeters so that is the curved part we found 4.4 in 4.4 there are three other things also which we need to add in which the ant is moving that is 1.5 plus 2.8 plus 1.5 plus 4.4 that will be the total distance covered by the ant which is 10.2 centimeters c part now see again it is there is a semicircle and there are two centimeters forming like a triangle so let us see what is the circumference of the semicircle it will remain same because the measurements are same which is 4.4 centimeters so ant is going to walk around 4.4 plus 2 plus 2 which is given in the figure that comes out to be 8.4 centimeters so this is how we are going to find out the total distance covered by the ant first find out the circumference of the semicircle and whatever area is given or whatever distance is given next to the figure just add them together this is all for exercise 11.1 .1. i hope children you must have understood it was very easy and very simple just know the perimeter of a circle or perimeter of circumference or area of uh, square or rectangle so you need to know the formulas if you know the formulas very easily you will be able to find out the answers very soon i am going to come with the next video with 11 exercise 11.2 till then see you children goodbye and take care have a nice day